from, <laughs> from you, from our viewers. The question's here now. Start with the first one here. CDC says coronavirus can be passed during relatively brief interactions of close contact. What is considered a brief interaction? So this was the big change. The CDC recently just updated their definition of what is considered a prolonged close contact. And it used to be within six feet of distance for 15 or more minutes at that one time. Now they're saying 15 one minute encounters qualifies as prolonged. And this has to do with the science behind it with this concept of an infectious dose. So if you imagine this virus inhaling these particles like cigarette smoke that you could breathe in the air if you pass by someone who's smoking, you walk by them once, you breathe it in. You walk by them again, you breathe it in. It, and over that period of time, cumulatively, you get the equivalent of standing there for 15 minutes straight. All right, one more here, Doc, and is it true to, uh, you have to increase protein intake to keep muscle if you're trying to lose weight. Did so, you send this question in, TJ? Uh, I'm <laughs> very curious. Doesn't it sound like something TJ would ask? I'm very curious. So I love this question. I love this question because in the world of sports physiology and nutrition, this is generally mishandled and misinterpreted. When people are trying to lose weight, what are they trying to lose in general? Body fat, right? That's very different than lean muscle mass. So yes, when you are doing, let's say, cardio, it tends to be the lower, less exertion heart rate zones that are the fat burning zones. If you go out and run like our friend Amy here runs, you are either burning the glucose that's in your blood from what you've just eaten in your pre-workout snack, or you will break down muscle glycogen for fuel. So if you exercise that hard and you don't have the glucose in your blood, you need to supply more protein, and that protein is a formula. Yeah, I, I have little running gummies too. So Well, I, that's good, I, so yeah. you're not breaking down muscle glycogen. Right. And the last thing that people need to know, it, protein is not one size fits all. It's, it's weight based, and it's based on your activity level. So it goes between one and one and a half grams per kilo of body weight per day. Goodness. Okay, the running gum. I have so much to learn. <laughs> I don't want to break down my muscle. That's that not actually, running like. You know, yeah, yeah okay. they're little. They're little. And I don't do. That's carbs, right. You take yeah. the carb while you're running and you burn it as you're going. So it's literally fueling your run. Correct. But if you want to lose body fat, you want to work out at a lower, less exertion for a longer period of time than you're burning fat. She's my running guru. Um, Mine too. You can submit questions to Dr. Jen on our Instagram at Dr. J. Ash. Jen, what are you well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.